Last March, Elise Gerhardt spent a week living in a tree to prevent Sunoco from clear-cutting her childhood woods and building their natural gas pipeline. While most trees were cut, the successfully defended trees have been fortified into the most elaborate tree set ever conducted on the East Coast. The trees that people are defending now wouldn't be here if we hadn't taken action last year. A lot of times people are blinded by this need to develop and progress, but at what cost? Where are you going to be with all your progress if there's no clean air to breathe, if there's no clean water? You can't just cut down all the trees and bury all the streams and expect that life is going to go on in the same way. We are here in South Central Pennsylvania on my family's property and we're along the route of the Snoqualmie Logistics Mariner East 2 pipeline. From the Marcellus Shale Fields in Ohio and West Virginia, the Mariner East 2 will transport natural gas liquids for export on the East Coast, but the stronghold at Camp White Pine stands in its path. Every day construction is getting closer to Camp White Pine. Sunoco is coming and we're ready.